Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. And in this video, let's continue with our project, which is this Toyota V6 1GR FE engine. In previous video, we moved the engine from cherry picker on the engine stand. And at the very end, we looked underneath the passenger side valve cover. The valve cover was removed apparently previously with that last owner and we have no idea what's happening underneath the other one on the other side which seems to be still factory closed. I will bet it was actually never resealed. Let's go look on the detail. So this is what we saw on the passenger side and all that rust and everything doesn't belong here obviously and it's because this engine was unfortunately exposed to the elements this was failed of 2008 tundra single cap the basic model normally they have v8 it failed apparently at 280,000 miles and it was removed kicked to the curb it was sitting in the rain and I'm afraid it ceased but why I will say that I think this is still OEM original never touched well it's that gray color of the sealer we will see together later maybe I'm wrong I might be but this engine 1GRFE it's pretty famous to me to me and it's pretty interesting from factory they don't really leak the valve covers they don't really leak so much like a previous engine which was 5EZFE 3.4 liter you can make a living on doing valve cover gasket reseals on 5EZFE Depending what gasket you use, how the job is done correctly, I will say they last like 80, 100, 120,000 miles. And there are so many of these engines, I did so many jobs on it. I think, guys, this is OEM factory, never removed valve cover. It's always a challenge for me filming this stuff where to put you what will be the best angle of the camera yet for me to have a space to work so as you can imagine and we are accustomed about toyota's these valve cover bolts and the nuts are 10 millimeter right i want to remind you there are three on the center here one two, three, there are long bolts with three grommets. It's a metal rubber grommet. So let's see if they pull off and I will show you immediately the material. You see I'm kicking in that. So these are the grommets. Normally when you do the valve cover job, you replace those, you get it from Toyota or that kit wherever you buy better has it so that was like a glued to it right it's nothing new for us <clears throat> so I popped them off they were stuck on it so this was the center we have three long 10 millimeter bolts now how many nuts so here is one start with a 10 millimeter nut here in the back here is the other one outside, right? So we have two of those. And the remaining should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten millimeter bolts. And these bolts don't have any grommets, right? This is just a bolt, a previous engine 5 zfe 3.4 liter had these rubber grommets under every single bolt around 
So I think the kid was 18 of them. It was 9 plus 9 each side. When you did the valve covers on this, it was like that. If I'm correct, my friend, I just successfully removed every single bolt and nut and we can pop it off. Now, this valve cover will not come off if I just grab it, right? Even with this incredible handle I have here, which was not on the other side, that's the filler, it will just not go off. You have to pry it, but you have to pry it off extremely careful. And with careful, I mean you will not put your pry bar or big screwdriver here. These are the surfaces which actually will get damaged and you will create a leak. You have to find a spot where it's not a direct access. Like for example here. Do you see this spot? This is completely safe to put that prior, pry bar, screwdriver, whatever, underneath this tab because the gasket is running way away from it. Here, you see the same one. There's another one here, but this one, for example, on the front, right? What's about very small pry bar like this one, huh? So look, there is edge and I'm able carefully and look it's lifting right of course i will be not touching the sensor here but i'm touching this area you see that black print you have to just pay attention so when i'm installing it this way and you heard it it's coming off where will be another safe spot let's look right here we already discussed that right so I can rest the pry bar here, there's not much, but there is, boom, did you just hear that, how it popped? Very easy, and the last one, can use this one, right? So, if you see it, it's flexing, and now you are most likely curious, I am extremely curious. Will this side be less rusty because nobody touched it and it was perfectly sealed? That was a number one. Number two, I'm wondering if this will be way darker, the area of the valve cover, if it will be way darker from the burnt oil or they will be kind of matching on both sides. Why am I saying it? On 4.7 liter V8s, which are in sequoias and tundras, I see a kind of trend when I do the valve covers, the passenger side valve cover, it's always a little bit nicer, the color, than the valve cover on the driver side. I see always darker the deposit inside of valve cover is darker and it's more i will say burnt on this side and on the other one we got it nicely and carefully off nothing will be damaged not that it matters this engine it's a total loss and do you see how it's sticky and look at that my friend this is the inside of the valve cover I'm not sure how much you see it but you probably see it nicely this is again relatively very nice but I will say there is a more burnt oil than on the other one let's, let's see how they will compare so the previous one which we removed passenger side it's very clean for 280,000 miles, I will say that's beautiful. And let's see the new one that just came of today. I will say 
these areas, I hope you see it, are a little bit more burnt. If you look on these areas, yep, this is more golden instead of brown and that's what I meant. So this is way more, this is burnt. Burnt oil, it's brown. So here we are looking at it from the top and let me show you what I meant. I'm saying this passenger side is a little bit cleaner. This is a rust from being exposed. That's that's the goldy, right? This is the golden nice clean. I look at the actuator. Hopefully it's showing nicely how clean it is. This is the area we opened and I didn't show it to you yet. So look at that burnt oil, right? The brown color, that's basically burnt oil. Once again, this is rust from this valve cover being opened and not sealed correctly. That was held only with two or one bolts. So this is new to us, I will say. Beautiful. Look at the lobes. If you touch them, which you cannot, I can touch them. My God, guys, this is like brand new. Can you see it? It's a challenging lighting here in this shop, unfortunately, guys. These surfaces are basically brand new. It's unbelievable. 280,000 miles engine. I really wonder what happened to this one. Again, look at the timing chain, right? If it was stretched, I will be able slightly lift it up. It will, there will be play between the rollers and the teeth. It's just, it will not move one tiny little bit. The small one, tiny movement. We already checked this one, tiny movement basically almost zero so the chains are in incredible shape and this is the moment when you might be using a lot of pressure on this whole area so this is why in the back we have these four bolts holding this whole engine on that stand that's why you have to buy expensive bolts here because you don't want one of them, these give up and the whole thing will fall off. Now, we have harmonic balancer with the main crank bolt right here. This will be in the case of V6 Toyota, it will be 22 millimeter socket. If it was a Prius, that is a 19 millimeter. It's a, it's a smaller bolt. So, we are playing... The big boys are playing with uh, big, big toys here. Let's see if the half drive standard ratchet can move this engine. <coughs> yeah, guys, this is no good. Not even a little bit. That that's not funny. Shortly after I bought it, I brought it here. And it was hanging on the cherry picker as you saw it. I was able to use this breaker bar, I believe this one. And it didn't want to go, but then it moved a little bit. And that's what I told you, the out of spark plugs, which I removed, it shot this horrible rust water. It just sprayed all over. It really came out after a lot of pressure. This kind of rusty, rusty color, right? Since then I was trying to prepare it for you. So I sprayed a lot of lubricant in the intake, in the spar plugs. Was hoping that we will be able to turn it. Let's see if that's a true or it's, it's a problem. And it will never move. Oh, 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 did you see that? Excellent, excellent. You, you bring me luck, huh? Let's go get the ratchet. 
if we are lucky like this because of you maybe we will just make it running look at that I'm feeling the whole thing if I'm, I'm paying attention if the piston will be not hitting the valves or something, right? So when I'm turning it, I'm being careful. Guys, this is unbelievable. That is definitely, that is definitely some resistance. I will just randomly take a silicon spray. And including the intakes, spray a bunch of it and let it flow inside. And we will see if we can uh, move right in the spark plug tubes. I don't want to spray all of it in, but let's see. How it will help. Guys, this is completely different than when it came. Look, as I said, there's no compression in it. It has a one spot when it hesitates. But this was not possible when I brought this engine in. I was afraid it's completely ceased, so this is incredible. Little detail for all of you Toyota owners. If you ever have to rotate your engine, it doesn't matter, four cylinder V6, V8, it's always clockwise. All right, so this is the correct direction. And for those of you, who never saw this moving right we can simulate the engine moving obviously this speed it's very slow normally we know the, like the smallest idle it's like 800 rpm so obviously for those who are not familiar with this this keeps happening way way faster then I am capable to move it, but do you see it? Does it make a sense to you a little bit how it all works? Without me cleaning anything, you can observe how these cam lobes are beautiful on the other side, right? That was the valve cover which was not removed before it was sealed and look how gorgeous those cams are isn't it incredible that's an engine with 280 thousand miles pretty spectacular and this will be for today for this video i still have a one sienna waiting outside to be driven inside so i need to make a space for her she will stay overnight. There is some coolant leak or something on that one. So maybe I will film it, maybe not. But there was another video on the series of one GR FE V6 engine. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give it a thumb up. And I will see you soon in the next one. See ya.